Hey there guys, I'm Lee Williamson and I'm from Elemental Concept. Today we're going to learn how to model a pizza box in Cinema 4D. It's absolutely simple and easy to animate. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Without further ado, let's dig in. Right, so I'm going to re uh, recreate this pizza box that I had in the animation. Uh, very simple, we use a square uh, primitive object, a cube, and we change our height to 35, and then we make it editable, and then we duplicate it, and we call the one top box, and the other one bottom box, and uh, let's just uh, take off the bottom uh, box and now we can take the top box and delete its bottom face and its back face and uh, then we will just go into our side view now I've put my um, enable snapping on and all I need to do is snap it to the back corner and then uncheck it again. And now my back box. Oh, what is that? Let's try that again. So let's snap it to the back of the box there. Snap it to the back of the box there. There we go. And now that box should rotate off the back when we animate it. Now, if I uh, uncheck this, you can hold down Alt on these two radio buttons and that turns them off and on on your preview. Bottom box. And I delete the top face. And then if I can select them all, and I can go to optimize. So basically when you uh, break apart a box, all the faces come apart. So you have to press optimize to uh, join all the faces together again. And there we go. Now the next thing I wanna do is I just wanna cut a little hole out of this bottom box. So I can go to my perimeter objects and choose cylinder, press R on my keyboard rotate it 90 degrees. Now you can hold down shift if you want to incrementally snap in tens. And I can go back to my side view, press T on my keyboard and scale down that circle, uh, about 30% I reckon, and then bring that circle to the middle. Let's just bring it over there so that's what we want to cut out so I can go to my bottom box and I can hold down alt my keyboard and let's see if we can find the bull bull and then I drag in the cylinder there and make sure the bottom box is at the top and it should cut out that uh, from the box and now all I need to do is I can say Alt G on the keyboard and we call this uh, bottom box. And same thing over the top box. I will hold Alt on my keyboard and G again and say top box. Now if I just turn off my bottom box for a bit with the top box, it uh, would be nice to have those uh, bits go in there. So if I press on um, my points over here, I can go to my top box and I select them, press T on the keyboard and bring them in by about 90% there. Oh, now these uh, faces are still connected so what I can do is I can select my whole entire box. Let's see, um, select my box and you go into your commands and down here to uh, disconnect. 
and now all the faces should be disconnected. So I can click on those two points, press T in my keyboard, scale that down. Ah, still again. Let's try that again. Click on just the face. Go to commands and go to uh, disconnect. And now just that face, fingers crossed, will be disconnected. Press T on the keyboard, put in by 90. Fantastic, it's working great. Uh, then again, select these two points here and here. Press T on my keyboard and scale in that by 90 over here. And click these two points, press T on the keyboard and scale that in. Now I wish you to have those uh, nice little folds in the end. Now I'm just going to turn back the box on again. Now the first thing you'll notice is the box is kind of um, merging with uh, the bottom box. So I can just take that, go into my coordinates and under my scaling and I can put this to like 0.98. Go to them all and just put 0 0.98, 0 0.98. And now that box should be on the inside. And if I take that box and I just rotate it up, um, the next thing we'll need to do is get some thickness to the box, which should be fairly easy to do. Um, so I untwirl my uh, group that I had. I click on my box geometry and I can go down to simulate cloth, cloth surface. And what that cloth surface does is it gives it, you can give it thickness. So if I click on that cloth surface, uh, I can put my subdivisions down to zero. Uh, let's put my thickness to about one and just add a bit of bulging. And then I can do the same thing for my bottom box. I can alt click on the ball and go to cloth surface put that to zero, put the thickness to one. And you know what, I'll leave the bulging off for this one. Now the other thing is uh, when you have light in the scene, uh, you need some light to refract off the very edges of the box. So you can um, use a bevel deformer to bring that back into your typology. So let's show you how that's done. And I'll go under my, and choose a bend deformer. Let's whack a bend deformer inside there. Uh, check all these boxes on your typology. Now the first thing you'll notice is uh, all my uh, typology seems to become a pod when I added the bend deformer. It's because I forgot to optimize my box. So I'm going to click on my box. Uh, if I just turn off all of these things and I select all the faces, right click and go optimize. Now all this typology is connected, which is great. And under my bevel, I can put my subdivisions to three. Let's see if you notice what's happened over here. Um, let's check. Turn that uh, offset to actually about 0.1. So what we're doing is we're just introducing just a little bit of a bevel on our topology. And then I can do the same thing as I can duplicate that bevel into my bottom box by alt shift dragging and another one should appear over here. Now it seems to have um, cause a bit of an area here on the bottom box. So that's quite different. To resolve that, uh, let's see what we do. To resolve that, we can play a little bit with our, um, our fong angles. So if you check on use angle and you drag this down to about six and you go to your cloth service and let's see what did we not do here. Yeah. 
what can we do? Uh, go to our bool and create a, let's see, I think if we can optimize the points on our bool, just drag this up and that should resolve it. Fantastic, I think that's resolved. Cool, let's just check. Yeah, nice, neat topology. And now all I need to do is go to my top box, to my coordinates, and I can animate the box opening up, boing. Right, uh, one minor blip I forgot to mention. Uh, when you are animating the box, you notice the topology kind of uh, intersects over there. So very easy to resolve. Uh, all I'm gonna do is let's bring that angle back to zero and turn off the uh, bottom box. And I'm just gonna go to uh, the face of object and uh, bring that in about 10 centimeters. And the same thing for the sides. Uh, take the left side in, bring it about 10 seat. Actually, you know what? Doesn't need to be that much. It can be about five or four, to be honest. And yeah, that's just a little bit more realistic. And then let's just turn the other box back on again. And now that should not intersect. Great. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Bye.